to the Blue Shiki Podcast. We're back for chapter 639, uh, Baby Hold Your Hand 2. Uh, I'm Zill. So. Future. And this time there is no song because she's in Spain or something having fun while we're saving our asses off. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so this week we had a fairly interesting chapter because... Involve more my area. Uh, so if you want to say something, you want to take it away? Hmm? I thought you were going to... It's not like you were going to say something. You want to, you want to start us off? No. God, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um... So, first of all, Pranita can clone itself out of fingers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting something like this, given the the eye that appeared on the on the ripped off pinky a couple weeks ago. But it basically, it, it it just like created a mass out of nothing and made two more of itself. For, for more nerve action. And. That, that was suitably creepy. But, uh, what's more creepy is my area's fucking Bonkai. Because he made a new one. Well, no, he made an alternate version of his current one. It's, it's another demon baby that makes more demon babies. And, uh. Can I just bring something oh, up? Yeah, go ahead. About about streams translation here of the bonkai because when mayuri when, when mayuri releases the bonkai yumi chika is like oh my god it's the golden ashisoki jizo and i'm just like um stream can you just decide what language we use here yeah because then the then yeah, they, they the alternate as, between like because then they translated it as translation konjiki leg cutter jizo like it, it, <laughs> pick, pick your pick your Pick which one you want to use. Come on. I for, like, yeah, I forgot how you can you can write the word golden in Japanese in hiragana, and then have it mean the the English word kanjiki. Jesus yeah. Christ. Because <laughs> that's in our that's in our vocabulary. Yeah, I mean. Say kanjiki all the time. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I like instead of golden, I'm like, oh, I want that kanjiki watch over there, <laughs> that kanjiki, jiki bracelet. That's, that's not, that's you not know. Japanese is very nabuchi. Yeah, get those kanjiki earrings from our mom for her birthday. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. So, things like that. On the Bonkai itself, um, this is perhaps the culmination of Mayuri's uh, ability to modify his Zonpak Joe because he's made his own alternate version of his Bonkai, uh, Mak Makai Matai uh, Fukuin Shotai, which uh, is one fucking horrifying and two basically acts as a I want to counter everything that my opponent can do uh, in this bat you know, it's a it's a giant demon baby that gives birth to another yeah. baby if this not a example of children having children uh, it pretty much is he's Kubo is sending us yeah, a message. My, my is like, <laughs> I'm gonna give birth to this Bonkai, which gives birth to another Bonkai. <laughs> I swear to God. And, and, the, and, the, and in this specific mm. battle, um, he created uh, a Kanjiki Ashigosogi Jizo, which can, uh, which has 70,000 layers of nerves on its, uh, on the surface of its body, and which thus cannot be controlled by, by Pranita very easily, because if it tries to infiltrate one layer, it just peels off and then gets to the next, and you got to go over and over. And apparently, I can't do it so very as quickly, uh, quickly enough to, you know, just take control of it. And uh, also, it's left in constant pain because 
you know, having nerves outside your body means that everything hurts. But Miori doesn't care yeah, of about that. Of course not. He made an explosive device that is a screaming head. And an umbrella that also screams. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sadist. A little bit. Sh shit! Hey, hey, hey. Mind you! Sorry, I was out at a Red Robin with my father. Ah, yeah, well. Well, you didn't, you didn't miss much. You were just going over uh, Demon Baby. Demon no, Baby! So, uh, no, did we actually start no, yet? We, or? we started, but like, we're like five minutes in. Whatever. Oh, we're, yeah. wait, are we recording? I'm recording. Oh, huh? oh cool. Hi, hi guys. I'm Jeffy. Yeah, yeah you, you may not know, because it's never fucking on. Because of his stupid Jew parents. Sorry. No. Sure. Well, I'm gonna yeah, be on more yeah. often now. Yeah, I'm back but, at school. Uh, one. Anyway, I have Fridays free. Thoughts on this uh, the demon baby and the prenatal. Um, night fuel. This, this entire chapter. <laughs> and uh, and Johnny, wait, wrong manga. Um. Yeah, never mind. Um, okay, okay. So, uh, let's see. What, what do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see. Nightmare fuel. More nightmare fuel. A oh, hell of a lot of nightmare it's, it's, fuel. It's, it's, it's like the creepiest chapter since. I don't know, the one where Pepe went full centic and sh showed off his, his, his love gun. And, mm. and apparently there's a freaking Patrick Star here. here. Mm -hmm. Only, only in Japan we have a we have a fight where a giant demonic baby gives birth to another demonic baby, and that giant demonic baby eats a giant Three god hand with eyes. Riam, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can also yeah, talk. And uh, might might I add that when Prina decided to clone itself purposely, it ripped off its middle finger because. <laughs> Oh man, just 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 for an excuse to give Myri the sideways bird. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's just um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God, Koopa. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I just realized something. Did we claim something about, or did did we have some kind of theory? Someone has some kind of theory about. Paranita having s some kind of influence from the Almighty. Uh, I don't remember any of us saying that. I, I don't remember. I thought it was a comment, but then you, then I look at it and I realize no, he just has two eyeballs in this, or two pupils in the same eyeball. Yeah. But it's fine. But it's fine because there's only one eyeball, so he still has two eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no weird Almighty bullshit. Okay. 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 Well, I mean. Yeah, just kind of skimming through the chapter again. Yeah, let's see. My, you're reading a book because everyone well, everyone has to read a book. Okay. Well, basically, what I had oh, yeah. to yeah, throw Sal, in Sal on Sal this cool is Let's go ahead. that I find it increasingly odd that Miyuri does a flashback memory when he was once researching this and read this in a book. What's the likelihood that that would have ever even happened, and what point would he have to even that type of information. Yeah, I was right too. It could have just been lying around. He might have pulled a random book on the shelf and just started reading for the hell of it. But sit. But first of all, we it's, it's been pretty much established, I think, that um, when it comes to the Soul King, not much is really daggone known, especially by you know the Go Thirteen, even the highest daggone members. They kind of like just go hollow. It's not like anybody has ever met him or anything like that. So like the details surrounding the Soul King are pretty much like minimal at best. So the likelihood that there's a book that just happens to describe some fundamental daggone parts of the daggone Soul King that, you know, nobody really even knows about. Nobody really, you know, paid much attention to Mimi Hagi being the actual right hand of the Soul King. I mean, except those small little people who worship him. And, you know, nobody even questioned whether the Soul King had any limbs <laughs> or not. Like, it's just really odd that that happened to be the case. Um, and the only thing I can infer from it is either, oh, it's throwing in there 
as, you know, a, a way for, I don't know, because it didn't really seem to add much to what was happening in this chapter for him to even make that point. Or the other opposite is, is that there's the reason why he brought that out is to make it a point that he and Mayori was up to something in the first place and wanted to know more about that type of information. So it seems kind of odd because if I can recall, Miyori didn't show up after Ukitaki did a Mimi Hagi thing. So he wasn't even there for it. And then, well, you to know. Be fair, to be fair, Miyori is kind of always up to some. So. Yeah, exactly. But my whole point is that it seems like he was up to something a long time ago. And this also ties into you with the uh, later on in the chapter at the end with you know, why why is there being so much focus on is this the end of the battle or not? Mm, look at you know Nemu looking on his head. What the fuck? Are, what, are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> like something is you know, it's like to like say something without actually giving it away. And I'm like, okay, because any normal situation, this would have been like, or oh, it's not just ended yet, but now you're like, mm, is it ended? And what is Namu's that going to take <laughs> on this? Like, when since when does anybody give a fuck about what she said? I, I don't think it's like, <laughs> what, 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 what take on it, so it's where she's going to intervene. Yeah, like, for what, though? It's just like, why would she need to dag on intervene? Has Nayori never been in an issue, in a situation where he couldn't oh, handle something? I guess. And I believe he stabbed himself in the throat, turned into liquid, and they're going to slither yeah, through a crack. Because he already <laughs> had most of his bodyguards. Like, I can't fight this guy. Let's, yeah. let's get out of here. Didn't really need Nimu for that. But going <laughs> like, back to your thing about uh, Mayuri possibly wanting to research uh, the Soul King when he was uh, just a lad, I saw someone on my blog theorized that maybe that's what got him landed in uh, the, det the detention unit. Uh, Forbidden yeah. information. Yeah, cause, that like, makes sense. Because if like the it, the information that he read felt less like a, like a scientific text and more like a like some sort of like mythology thing in the in the way this. Yeah, because remember, yeah, they don't really talk about the Soul King. I mean, he exists and that's it. Nobody really. Well, is supposed I, wouldn't, to... I wouldn't be surprised if like the entire. Uh, <clears throat> research and development institute had a bunch of like mythology lore stuff as well because why the hell mm. not because that's not what science does <laughs> well they that's could the preview, that's the purview of, they could have they could have it for knowledge they could have it for the sake of research i don't i, I don't freaking know it it's a, yeah, this uh, is not uh, like the the science division controlled by, you know, Heinrich Himmler here. <laughs> this is, you know, regular science division, which means they deal in actual science. It's not like, mm, we're going to do science over here, and we're going to use you guys with your scientific degrees and your engineering degrees and stuff like that, and we're going to, you know, build a contraption that opens a gateway to hell so we can pull out Hellboy. Like, no, that's that's not what's <laughs> happening here. I don't think hey, that's hum human how... studies. Human studies can be a form of science. <laughs> St study, study yeah, of culture. It's, it's, of course you go, of course you go over the, well, the fucking Hellboy reference. So. <laughs> well, I mean, like you know, at one okay, I'll, I'll put it to you like this: at one point in time, maybe all of that stuff conjoined together, but over a daggone time, it really split apart. And as we know from the twelfth division, they don't give in to a lot of stuff. I mean, I, we're talking about a group that is basically, you know, super powered souls and stuff like that. You know, with with swords that can you know do you know different abilities and have their own minds. Like, I mean, as far as fetch as that can be, the twelfth division has essentially all dealt specifically within the realm of you know actual science, and as far as mythology and all that other stuff, which or or rather something above science, most of them. Don't have a clue. I mean, you're hard the, the most intelligent Daniel guy in Bleach, and he don't know shit yeah. <laughs> about the Soul King. Or, I mean, he knows of the Soul King, but he doesn't know the the details. He doesn't know, 
you know, he only know Mimi Hodge by name. Hold on, hold on. He as, never was interested as, in that. I believe we've learned the Soul Society. The Soul Society also has a bunch of like crazy ass archives with some supercomputers, apparently. Yeah. So, Mayuri might have just gotten into one of those, and well, just he was read it for the hell of it, book. and just read. He was Actually, reading a book, so... I, think about it, so... I, I have a feeling that <laughs> most of the information surrounding Soul King down in the Soul Society is just rumors. Like, I remember back when, uh, in 616 when Mimi Hagi was being explained and, uh, uh Usake asked Urahara if he knew what Mimi Hagi was, uh, Urahara was like, I said the name. So he'd heard of it, but he didn't know what the hell it was, and he didn't really make it, he didn't make the connection exactly. that it was, like, the Soul, the Soul King's arm. So I feel like this. But yeah, Ukatake knew. Ukitaki knew. knew he was he was there. He saw it and like, you know, he probably he probably like just knew from like what it did to him or whatever. But uh. I believe the exact explanation given when they were talking about when they first brought up the Soul King was is that nobody's ever seen him, and he doesn't really rule Soul Society. But there's no question about whether or not he yeah, exists. Yeah, and I, I feel like um. Like, there's, like, a bunch of just, like, different pieces of information, like, about, uh, different parts of Soul Society, diff different, like, people, that, they're, 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 they're all, like, related to Soul King in some way, but people don't realize that, because so little is known about the actual guy. So. Exactly, like, they, they, they do the job of working and doing what they're supposed to do. They don't ask those impertinent questions, who's at the dag on top of the pyramid there? Because the Soul King doesn't rule directly, he's not doing trees and stuff like that, like the, the Central 46 fix are supposed to do that. Like, the Soul King's existence is on the more important tab, and every daggone thing running the daggone gather and stuff like that. So what need do they need to have of knowing any of yeah. that? And then it kind of like brought me back to the whole thing with the uh, Royal Guard, where, you know, Ife come, you know, he's brought back to life or whatever, and he did, said that little cryptic thing, like, and I read it, like, said I read it from Brought Back Karma, read it on Game Mega Panda, whatever, and each, each deck on one pretty much doesn't make any sense. The way he says it is, like, he's at, he's saying, you know, peace is not always easy, and he's, you know, phrasing it as a question, and then he says, you know, you know, says box name. Yeah, box question, even though box not there, and I'm like, okay, the hell does that mean? And even on the in the the, the side side text is like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? And then on the following, I think in the following chapter, you know, I don't know whether it's the beginning or the end or whatever, but the knows that and then we're coming and he says something that he, he's kind of he's pissed off that you know Ichibe is interfering yep and I'm like well why would he care if he's all daggone powerful and stuff like that like he's like you damn monk or whatever and stuff like that and I'm like what the hell is going on so it's just like there's things and I've said this before as you know there's things that have to do with the soul king that doesn't make any sense I've tried to like kind of decipher it when we were going through the thing and they were talking about Mimi Hage and what what do you say? Uh Mimi Hage, the right hand of the Soul King, governs like yeah, it, 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 and, it, it, you know. it, it, it governs stopping or whatever. Negation. Yeah, stopping and stillness and the other one left, you know, uh governs dance or progress. And I had to sit there and think about that I to to you a little bit earlier. I mean uh, yeah, uh what the hell does that mean? And I looked at both of Mega Pandas and, and Streams. Okay, so I had to do my, my research and it came clear, as I was saying before, that it's a, a situation of bounce. You know, there are you know, uh, signing this station. And growth in progression. You know, on the opposite of that, it was pretty much like change. And I really have not been able to pinpoint Pranita's whole situation or whatever, but Mimi Hagi's actually goes in perfectly with stagnation. As I explained it yesterday, stagnation is the stopping of progress, the, you know, uh, the cessation of growth and everything like that. So that actually makes sense because that's essentially what Mimi Hagi's power was. That's what it used 
to help Ukitaki. He didn't heal Ukitaki. He stopped whatever was happening with him from progressing. Yep. That disease. True. True. And okay, so um, that's the uh-huh. genesis of his powers. Me, uh, Pranita, he's a little bit hard to pinpoint at this current stage in time because change encompasses a whole lot of shit. And that's a seriously godlike power. I'm, I don't know. So far, people have been okay, attributing so... change to him being able to speak better over time and like his apparently expanding abilities going from the compulsory to self-cloning. But So, so you think I'm not, that I'm not saying it, I... the reason why it's on on box side is because it has become wholly independent. Maybe. I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying like, some people have have been like contributing that to the it governing change thing. All I all I can tell you for sure. All I know is maybe in the next chapter we're likely to find out who has the upper hand. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> I, I, I'm yeah. Gonna gas you. <laughs> Damn. You're 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 not you're not as good as that as as as, as Kami is. But anyway. yeah, oh. he's not here. Somebody. Not here, so someone's gotta do it. Somebody actually anyway. on your blog, oh, oh, Zill, somebody actually on your blog actually brought a interesting point out. He made the assertion that he doesn't necessarily believe that Mimi Ha I mean, not Mimi Ha, um, that Pranita is uh doing what he's doing of his own volition that he is being controlled. Like somewhat possessed. Maybe he's not. Maybe the Pernita is actually some type of, you know, I guess he's trying to insinuate maybe some type of parasite, freaking Sternritter or whatever, and it's taking control of the left hand. That's no, possible. I, I said that's or an interesting maybe, possibility. There's some merit to that. Anyway, I've noticed something just oddly. I mentioned just quite a few minutes ago uh, that, that Pernita just seems to have two. Pupils in one eyeball. Yes. The clones that's also cre- an interesting thing because if you remember, created, the clones created from his finger, from his fingers, only seem to. Have- hmm. What I find so there's so there's definitely that, one that's still the you can definitely pinpoint one as still being the original. That Mimi Hagi has the was depicted as having the hair on the back of the hand. Yeah. Yes, his yeah. he had also, the and one weird thing. What is Pernita um, is depicted with having it on the on the palm, on the and, palm, and there's two pupils. And there's two pupils. I, what I find interesting about that is that kind of doesn't seem to make sense. Which you know, the more I thought about this person's theory or po- on the post and stuff like that, the more I thought, you know, is it possible that, that would be a sign that it's being daggone possessed in some type of way? That it has two pupils in one eye and stuff like that? Because we would think that. One one eye, one pupil, and stuff like that. And... Also, the, really there's one thing I'm noticing is that is that for whatever reason, like the original one, like he's not growing his fingers back. Like the fact yeah. that the new finger, he's like them like off. The he's that, not like the yeah, fact that the other fingers are like regenerating into new, basically clones of Bernita, and then the original one isn't growing new fingers back. Like that strikes me as kind of weird. But I'm also yeah. guessing. I'm guessing that means. That, well, so there. It's not really like a starfish, basically. It, it, if it were a starfish, SpongeBob jokes aside, um, I believe that is, um, rip a limb off. It grows the limb back, and the limb might grow into another. No, I don't think so. Never mind. Never mind. But it grows the limb back. In this case, the finger is new hand. I think in this case, like, uh. Bernita can't necessarily, like, regrow its fingers, but if it needs to, it can, like, take this cl- its clones and turn them back into fingers and then reattach them or whatever. Maybe. I'm also thinking the clones probably cannot create clones. Oth- yeah, themselves. otherwise, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it might very well just be limited to five. Mm, yeah. Five, which, which five clones. Five clones, which are probably a bit weaker than the original. And if he has five clones out, he also has no fingers. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't really need fingers. His, his main of attacking doesn't involve him using his fingers, it's just like using his nerves. So. Hmm. 
Mm. So, it's like, what would happen if the Soul King had his arms reattached? Well, like, <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean to say, like, um, for a bit now, I think for since maybe like the second half of this arc, we've been starting to get like cryptic hints towards the Soul King's like uh, situation. I mean, apparently, from what we know, he's been sealed by the Shinigami. He's had heavy fusion pistol powers. He's lost all his limbs. Those limbs are pretty powerful on their own. And, yeah, doing around. God knows what. <laughs> I mean, and God knows where his legs are, if they even, if they even matter. Uh, but... One's probably Namu or something, I don't know. One, one, one's Chad. Chad has a foot. Well, Chad's got arms. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what I, what, I, what I mean is, like uh, it it's it, it seems like possible that he may not have been a very a very nice person back in the day when he was uh, presumably able to walk and talk, and he and some dialogue from a character from a couple weeks ago implies that he may have been like incredibly huge, like physically, given how pretty pretty is massive hmm. a hand. Well, I mean, you can just grow inside. Maybe, size. but like, it, it, even if it was like a, a, just like a giant humanoid, because you don't really get that in this series. Well, yeah, who's gonna hell is gonna fight a giant also, you know, humanoid? We have Ultraman or Megazord, so. <laughs> like, and, well, and Koma, hey, Koma, does have... yeah, yeah, Koma, <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? But, uh, he's, he's gonna fight a giant, maybe? He's gonna make, uh, gonna make, uh, uh, Megazord out of Genjo's. He's he's the black ranger. Mm. <laughs> wow. I don't yeah, I don't um, know. Like that side, it's like I, I feel like we are building up towards um a reveal of like what's up with the Soul King, which will probably be like like kind of like touching back at his like his history and his powers explained. And uh, I, I kind of get the. Mm. Well, hopefully it'll be explained better in box history oh. and powers because. Uh, explanations explanations when it comes to these Quincy are just horrendous between Bach and I won't say all of them but between Bach and, and Hashwolf uh, oh yeah it's horrendous Hashwolf like I don't know how many times I had to go over Jesus Christ. yeah I don't know how many times I had to go over Hashwolf's uh, the ex- explanation Bach gave about Hashwolf on when, you know, he found him as a kid or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck is he trying to say? He's like, I can take power and put him in somebody else and they can call him. I can take him back. You can't even do that. Like, are what What are you saying? Like, you're saying, oh, yeah, yeah, he's powerful, but you can't do that. Like, is that what you're saying? Or, like, I don't, <laughs> you have the power to impart. Uh, what does that mean? Like, and then, then before that, Hashwolf explaining to Yuryu, oh, yeah, he he sleeps and then he can do this and then that and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, ta- it was very very vague explanations. Yeah, you know, like I think one of the most probably one of the more detailed explanations of Dag on how power works is probably um without even going overboard about it was probably asking. oh yeah it, it, it was, like I say an entire page. I'm not even talking. It's just like just like a narrator being explaining what a, uh, a lethal dose is. Whatever happened to narration? Um, it it died out in fa- favor of Hashwolf. <laughs> because if you can recall, narration is just a simple way about having the without having, you know, the person reveal anything necessarily, or whatever, and they can just explain something. Then you be like, oh, okay, so that's what that is. Like, you know, a little narration it could was, go a long way. It doesn't even have to be was, that long. It was more common <laughs> back in, like, the 90s, maybe the 80s. Because, like, I remember both comic books and manga used that a lot. But now now it's just, like, people talking. Yeah. <sighs> Except uh, when they want to do it one, so once anyway. in a while. So anyway, I'm um, continuing with the chapter, I guess. Uh, We've got some... Oh, Okay, okay, we've got some crazy shit with a giant baby. We completely yeah, forgot about this. I, I, I remember people in um in uh, the Kiss Moment comments being like, 
Oh man, Bleach has fallen so much. This is babies and stuff. K Kubo's just doing whatever he wants now. I'm like, dude, there's been crazy before this. Like, where do you mark the point where, the, where it stopped? Or what? At what point in time does a creator or something wait, 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 not do hold what up, he hold wants? Up, hold up. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are, are you telling me they had a problem with Mayuri having these giant baby things when he's had that giant baby beginning? Yeah. Like, how the hell is I, the problem I now? I regarding those commenters as having any sort of common sense or humanity or intelligence. They're fucking idiots. <laughs> it just makes it makes no sense. Like, oh, he's just doing anything. Like I just said, like, since when does a creator of something not do whatever yeah, the hell they man. want? That's the whole point of their creation. They decided to do whatever the hell they want, and you happen to like it when they did that shit. Now, what what the problem is? The problem is when that shit doesn't line up with what they have already done. That's when you have a daggone issue. This daggone baby thing that falls right in with Miyori's personality, what how he fights. Uh, what his motif is as far as what his Zanpakuto and his Bankai does, like all that shit. Uh, the, the fact that he modified it, anybody else would have been like, "What the fuck?" But Miyori. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, "Yeah, that makes sense. He does that." It, it's, like, it's like we pull those fucking Haruki <laughs> shoes. I'm like, "Oh, Miyori. All right, cool. I get it." Yeah. I mean, at the same time, that's, like, that's, that's at the, the like, I made that point like, yesterday when I said, <laughs> you know, Oetsu would probably lose his mind if he saw <laughs> how how you know. How Miyori and Kenpachi treat their zombies and stuff like that. Miyori shit, and shit. He keep doing my sword, like, but yeah, he, he you know. that sword to Miyori's face. That's, that's the thing with but Miyori. Is it, though, it is it entirely unlikely that Miyori abuses his zompakuto like he abuses everybody else? The only difference between him and Kenpachi is that he knows the daggone name of his daggone zompakuto. I remember someone was like, what, made like a an, like abuse abuse child comparison to actually use. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Poor, poor thing just gets fucking like how, like how like when he's fighting Sal Abro he like broke his sword to punish it or something. <laughs> oh Jesus God! Christ. What, what are you trying to say, future? No, I mean, I'm saying that like when it comes to my Yuri, I guess he has like a certain leeway with what he do. I mean, anyone else pulls this kind of to be like um. What? But my Yuri is just like, eh, okay. His first I, I can, I can roll. reaction was blowing up his own subordinates. Like, you can't really go much lower from there. I don't think. I mean, Miyori is anything. If any, if nothing else, Miyori has always been very consistent. You know, with he, he's always been done very consistent with his personality, who he is, and what he's about. He's about. He has never really disappointed in that regard. If anything, he's a, probably one of the most consistent characters Kubo has made because. He knows that when he's dealing with Miyori, he could pretty much get away with any damn thing because Miyori is the, you know, epitome of being the mad scientist. And the mad scientist doesn't give a damn about any damn thing except his work. Uh, Miyori is of course. the coolest favorite character to draw. So, there you go. I can yeah, see why the, sometimes. He's the, he gets weirder the, and weirder with each passing. Yeah. <laughs> like, like this chapter, the first page is when Prina is like, are you nervous? Miyori is just like troll face. No, of course not. There's a pun there somewhere. Yeah, probably. I mean... <laughs> anyway, anyway. Here, here's the question. How does Yumi Chika know about anything about my race, Bankai? She's probably, like, heard about probably it. Probably experienced it before. Um, yeah, probably. My race probably used it yeah, on everyone. She's probably, like, heard about it. I mean... I mean, initially, if you can recall... Um, in the Soul Society arc, you know, back when it was made very clear that the uh, a lot of the you know people who weren't around, the various d divisions weren't working with each other. So sometimes they didn't know if the, the one division had a new captain or who the new this person was or even what you know. And only those subordinates under their captain knew exactly what their captain's Retsu felt like when. Yep. And when that captain released their bankai or whatever and stuff like that, and yep. as for uh, and uh, I think what who was it when um each uh, Gein when Gein was fighting Hitsugaya, and Hitsugaya took out Hiranmaru and you know pulled out Shikai and I think there was like a little 
in monologue from Kira, you know, because I think that was like the first time he had seen Hiro Maru Shikai. Yep. And he was talking about how, like, <laughs> he's never seen anything like that. You know, it's living ice or whatever he, he explained it as. But that's like the first description, I think, of, I think, a Captain's Shikai, really. You know, from somebody who would not really know anything about it. But mind you, he's third division lieutenant. He didn't know anything about Hitsugaya's abilities. He's only, he only really heard. So it's like hearsay. True. But True. Yumichika yeah. specifically <laughs> pointed out, oh no, it's the golden leg cutting, you know, the, the you know, he said what he said. He, he said the Gling yeah. Ashisogi Jizo. According to stream, and, he's, and, and he says, "I'm pretty sure it can spread a deadly poison." You know, I, I, yeah, and he, he he pointed out that it can do it within 200 meters. Now that's very specific information. So either you would have to be like Namu or Akon or somebody, or you would have had to experience or know what it does. And I I, I think so. he spent a long dinner date with Nemu. I mean, put it to you like this. Uh, Kaku doesn't even know that much about Yumichika on Zanpakuto. Well, that's because he keeps having a yeah. secret. Exactly. So, uh, uh, you know, this must be a very. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, what well, I'm saying Kaku's is Ashisogi Bankai is the worst kept secret. Yeah, Ashisogi Jizo must be, you know, something that he's taken out before, and a lot of people I mean, have seen. I think um, the difference, the 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 difference between Soul Society and now. Is that back then, like, it was kind of rare for a captain to use their bunkai because there wasn't really, like, big threats that appeared so often they needed to use it. But, oh, but oh, like, for the then, um, but basically, since Ichigo showed up, everything's yeah, been like, a threat. He, he uses, bon uses bunkai uh, in Soul Society, he used it in Lego Mundo. Uh, Ichigo has destroyed yeah, Soul Society, much. his very Excellent. existence has fucked yeah. up everything. <laughs> and, and really, Basically, this, this, but that's this, that is how the main really character this works. Saki's fault for saving Ishin and getting pregnant. Dumb bitch. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Small story wouldn't ruin everything. Anyway, more I, of the story. On, 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 another, is on another related note, I really like my my Guri's new um, let's call it a hairstyle. It's like, it's like three like rings of hair. <laughs> yeah, this is like I'm it looks like tubes. For next chapter. Uh, because it, cause we're gonna have uh, color pages for the first time in a long time, and I'm I'm guessing it's gonna be it's gonna so we're gonna have um color intro pages which are just like normal pages but with color and then like a color cover thing. So I'm I'm gonna see what 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 my ear looks like in color in color now, because oh god that's gonna be fun. And anyway this this thing especially this inside thing with the seventy thousand layer nerves. <laughs> That thing is just that thing is just freaking nightmare fuel. I mean, holy crap! Can we talk about how the, the the demon baby is lying on a, a sack of umbilical cords? Well, that's what she said it was. I just like it was flesh. I, I, it, it, I can't it, make it, a connection it, it between like umbilical a bunch cords. Of, like ropey objects with veins. I was like, it's a baby, probably umbilical. Cord. Uh, uh, my Yuri, that it could be a, that could be a colon yeah. for all oh, you. My Yuri know. did say that. <laughs> Yuri did say that he was gonna give yeah. birth to it. My, you know, my Yuri uh, keeps his zombok toe between his legs. That, that is all. There, there this is, is true. This, this is metaphor true. going on right now. He's actually, he's actually a girl. So let's see, let's see. The chapter pretty much ends with my Yuri um swallowing, or not my um the the uh, giant baby swallowing all of Trina. So. I don't know how much is going to be uh, left. Oh, but, come on. We then, know exactly how this is going to work out. It's yeah, going to bust out of the like damn thing. Like alien. Of course, of course. And then nemu has got her, hey, I'm going to be yeah. relevant face. Next chapter for sure. Which, for, which for the record, is just like every other face. Yeah. For Nemu. <laughs> yes, Nemu <laughs> has the emotional range the, of The Kristen only time Stewart. she showed a different face was when she's getting, like, like she's giving birth to Xyla Apro, and she's like, ah! Yeah, that, that, okay, yeah, but it, she was kind of yeah, in but, pain, so, you, know. you know. Stuff. <laughs> and even like then, I it said. wasn't very, it wasn't very emo much, it wasn't very emotional pain. Like I said, emotional range of Christian Stewart. Christian Stewart. <laughs> Basically <laughs> meaning none at all. Uh, oh. 
Same face for everything. Of, of like some god forsaken cross between Christian Grey and Kristen Stewart. Just um, unemotional mm -hmm. and manipulative. Yeah. Split. And, and, and I can I can pretty much see almost see Nemo being voiced by Ben Stein. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, wow. Nemo would be. Ow. Uh, yeah, I don't really I don't really uh, see that working out when you like you okay, know, may, maybe like, not actually Nemo, voiced by ben get Stein. the you know, Namu take care of him, and then Namu goes like, Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> but she's like, got equally as much emotion as Ben Stein does on a regular basis, <laughs> or as half of as half uh, of his characters. Uh, oh. I'm, practi I'm practically giddy with excitement. <laughs> oh, God, oh no, maybe maybe it should be voiced by George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Ne okay. Never throw it. Yes. Just that's only one. Yes. Yes, master. So a creation of yeah, George Clooney stuff with that. Back, we're going to never all out. If if uh if if it if it does come back and like this and they get like the part where Giselle is actually is actually a guy or whatever. If uh they have like a guy play her and just use like a really high voice and then drop. <laughs> Yeah, oh, like, God. like, like, oh God! I want, no, I want, no, I want to sell to be voiced by Terry Crews. <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say Bruce Jenner. I, I, I don't. Oh God! You, you really shouldn't. <laughs> well, Brucey might jail by it, then. No, so. it would go, it would go like this. It'd be like, Ali, you should really kill me. What? Nani? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> that, that that being I can't be going to kill this. Get surprised to be like, what? I, I can't really do the characters, but you know what I mean? I, I, I can see it being done where she does like a high-pitched voice, and then if she's surprised, she'd be like, what? <laughs> Just like, what? Ba -ba 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 power <laughs> Oh, baby. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-power! Power! Ba -ba 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 -power. <laughs> Just like, go from, ah, to, uh... <laughs> anyway, anyway, I gotta back up a bit. If we if we go back to we gotta go back to where can you divide the point to um to where Bleach really got yeah. crazy. That 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 reminds me of a line I read from a strange um let's call it an article a couple days ago. I can now neatly divide my life into two phases. The nearly thirty years before I screwed a Pring Pringles can. Pringles container to completion, and the shameful aftermath. Hmm. <laughs> Guess that works. Uh, uh, well, well, Pringles can have a pretty large hole, so um, I can kind of see how that works, but um, works. nope, not even remotely. <laughs> 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 oh, why am I? Why am I opening this? Why am I opening this? Why am I, I opening this? I, I why, had a why am I? That was how we, he complete. I, I screwed. Oh, I oh, no, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! For those of you listening, she was oh, like no. an article on how to make a flashlight. No, no, it's an article about a guy who tried to using online oh, instructions no. and pretty much how and pretty much how he failed miserably oh, and. God. How and the shame he felt afterwards. Please tell me there aren't pictures. Please tell me there aren't pictures. The artificial butt? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this entire this entire article is absolutely the hilarious. It's 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 mostly it it's mostly humor. Oh god. Yes, and I'm sure you were reading it just to please, laugh. Please do it. How to make the best homemade? Oh no 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 no. The cold starch. You don't what, don't what? don't watch the videos. You don't have to watch the videos. <laughs> Just read, just read the damn article. Shifty, I'm not so sure I want to know what you do in your spare time. <laughs> hey, hey, I blame my dad for this one. He shared this on Facebook. Oh, your dad yeah. is getting you and, into it. And, okay. and he said you, ha and he said you oh, have to you, read this. You wacky. Okay, well, I just want to go on record is I don't have that type of relationship with my father. Oh, so... you, you wacky Jews yeah. and your flashlights. Oh, God, they do have pictures of the Pringles thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, God.
Future's reaction oh, is probably God. the best thing about this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. No no no. Oh, oh thank god. No. There's something else. Oh god. <laughs> I am not using that for the life of me. Uh... <laughs> Trust yeah, me, you don't want to. Me, your reactions are more like ever hoped for. Oh please, it's not as bad as the Ray Guy arc. As the... It's okay. still not as bad as the. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, is, is 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 that the pinnacle here? That what we're yeah, gonna that... use now? Not as bad as the Reg Eye Orc because there's uh, things Sigurita. that were worse than that the Reg Eye Orc. It was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh I I, I well, found. According to, I... Some, according to some people, Narita is can't. According, according to some, some people, you know what? Those people like like can go themselves. <laughs> you, you, well, you, you know what? All I, know, all I know for certain is Narita is. Yeah. Okay. Fish up your asshole right now. I'm done with your shit. I mean, well, you know. I mean, I think. I, I mean, I think. I think. I think. I think um, like you know, well, Leech Asylum or whatever would stop thinking Narita is canon if they saw a picture of him. Yeah. Mm. Him. All the, I know he is, is that he is, he is a Japanese fedora wearing neckbeard. Okay. No, 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 he's 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 a different kind of intellectual. Let, let's just no, put it that way. He's the a kind that's kind. not. Uh, All I know is that I am a cruel dictator who bullies people by banning them for blatant vandalism, and I continue on bullying them by totally ignoring them. <laughs> and that makes them depressed. <laughs> yes, yes. I want to accept this award on behalf of. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, my mom, <laughs> my dad. I want to thank um, all the people that made this possible, all the uh, people at uh, at the Bleach Witty, uh, uh the Policy Standards Committee, um, you know, and uh, Rand Carr, and, and yet my uh, fellow and administrators. And all the people that you've ever banned. And all the people I've Don't. ever banned. I want to thank you um, for accepting this war for our greatest, uh, cruelest tyrant in existence, um, second only to... Uh, you know, Hitler and Mao and Stalin <laughs> and so Noriega and Gaddafi. All is all who I hope to surpass one day. I mean, it's not every day that you give somebody depression. <laughs> you get so depressed. <laughs> you get so, and, so um, the intersection with uh, with ellipses. That's what depressed they are. Yes, I, I I couldn't have done it without all of you there to support me. And, you know, I just want to accept this reward, and, you know, I, I, I just I, I just don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. We're, 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 we're here for you, bro. <laughs> we're all here for like, you. We, we, you. You always have us. <laughs> like, really? Gave me depression. Like, this is, this is the pinnacle of at the point you need to go into the bathroom, Look in the mirror and reevaluate reevaluate your yeah, life. And, and <laughs> Something and went wrong to, like, somewhere. Trying to like cut your wrist on your fucking edge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, like if really. If a one month to impress you, then obviously there's something else wrong with the, you. That's the level level <laughs> the level of drama used in that situation was so great. Motherfucker should have got an Academy Award for it because <laughs> Meryl Streep couldn't have dig on did a better performance. Out of something that you was know, so my and minuscule and so of, uh, unimportant. This, uh, this one. And unrelated news, she's got a pretty good oh, yeah. right now. Oh, the one with her daughter. Yeah. You know, uh, Ricky so, in the Flash. That, that yeah. Reminds me um, of this this one uh, this one commercial for Crunchyroll really? that I saw, where the guy was talking about how it was the same as the commercial they did. And he's just like collecting Academy Awards, and he's like, so many deals, the, the never-ending deals. <laughs> <laughs> That's ha that happens. It's like, it's like, that does happen. It's like people flirting over and over that for for seven dollars, less than seven dollars, they have all the anime they want. That's what Scott feels like. <laughs> so many deals. Never end. That's what he's got. That the, the, oh, the melodrama God. here is real. Oh my goodness. It really is. Some people need to yeah. do something with uh, their life. I think we're about done with, uh, with, with this podcast. It's been a fun one. Um, so get ready for Nemu actually doing the oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe, maybe Nemu has a bonkai. Bonkai. 
Maybe Nemo was a flint. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Something uh, is off. Oh, did I give too much? Away because you know, you know, when when I talked to Kubo the other day, because you know he he works on this he works on this wiki. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. wait of course, wait, and, he told uh, us everything. I asked don't, him don't, as I was finishing check. as I was finishing the colors on the uh the the, uh, the characters for the up and coming anime of Bleach Dead is about to be released. Um, you know, it became really, really clear. Oh, did now, I say that out loud? When you wore Kubo oh, yesterday, when when you don't when you don your uh, your your glasses and uh, painted your skin pale and started riding Bleach. Well, you know, we have so many people coming here. Asking the uh, you know the anime is coming back. And, and you have to hold because, it. You, you know, need to he hold works in here. The fact that you know exactly what day and what time it will come back. You don't want to spoil them. It, yeah, it, that's that's a lot. Feel sorry for that's Sal. A he, he has to he has to hold in all those. It is. You deserve you deserve he another. He has to hold in just, uh, like back that and yes. mission about Ubo and Bleach and its workings. Well, you know, anyway, I, was... I've, I have one thing to say for the people listening to this podcast. If Kaido listens to this podcast, I have to tell you, you have ruined my image of Kubo. By referencing that Cars for Kids commercial very much, I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Still salty about that, you little bitch. <laughs> I hate that commercial with every fiber of my being. <laughs> it, is, it is the worst commercial I've ever seen. It is the dumb. I don't even think those kids know what tech means. Oh my god. Well, look, listen. When I talk to Kuba tomorrow, <laughs> you know, when we sit down when, at. When, at you know, I, I hop, and he gets the root to fresh and free. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I get the I already, pancakes. I already talked to him tomorrow. Oh, wow. I already, I I already spoke to him tomorrow. Already. At Denny's. I mean, I, you know, it's I like to, I, I, I want to talk to him about this situation, too, because I understand that it's important to you. As I'm talking to him, and he's looking at me, and I'm looking at him, and he doesn't understand what I'm saying because he doesn't speak English, and I don't understand what he's saying because I don't speak Japanese. It makes it all clear, you know, for how he can, you, see, you know, you see, I, hold all this. You see, I spoke, to, I spoke to him tomorrow, and I'm going to talk to him again yesterday. Well, you know, it's as, long as, you, yeah. as long as you, yeah, as long as you do as that, long, as, long as you do that, through, that's what's, that's what's but, but um, you know, we can ask but, no uh, more. Future, you, got, you got questions, right? Oh, do I? Yeah, have... oh, yeah, right. and you're gonna be part of this shift, like it or not. Right, oh so, boy, oh boy, oh boy, yeah. oh boy. I guess we're signing off, and we'll see you for the, for the end segment, and then this week for September 640. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. Hey. Mm. Hold on. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible! You should get to the point where anyone else would quit and you're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up.